what separates a film that has us on the edge of our seat George. from a film that has us dozing off. Convincing performances. I've abandoned my boy! Beautiful set design and gripping action sequences. But these elements heavily rely on one thing. How we see them depicted on the screen. And no cinematographer understands this better than Roger Deakins. So today, let's explore the cinematography of Roger Deakins and how he creates an immersive story in the film 1917. The movie is about two men who are tasked with delivering a message across no man's land and into German territory that would potentially save the lives of 1,600 men, including one of the men's brothers. All I'm saying is that we wait. Yes, you would say that, because it's not your brother, is it? One of the first things you'll find out about 1917 is that it's meant to look like one continuous shot. It was baked into the, the very fabric of the script. My idea was two hours of real time, no cuts. Roger Deakins needed to execute this vision meticulously in order for it to be effective. For me, it feels like there's no way the audience is let off the hook. It's almost claustrophobic. They're not allowed to look away. But how do you plan a production like this? I don't understand, sir. First, let's address the issue of equipment. It, we only use one particular camera. The Ari Alexa Mini LF, a camera that is small, lightweight and mobile. What's really nice about cameras, right? As I get older, they get smaller and lighter. It's kind of good, really. Ideal for multiple long takes. I'd say 99% shot on a 40 mil signature prime. I wanted a shallower depth of field. I didn't want that sort of distortion on the face that you'd get with a wider lens. Both Deacon's camera and lens choices were essential in putting the audience into the action and into the story. Your orders are to get to the second. Deliver this to Colonel McKenzie. It is a direct order to call off tomorrow morning's attack. If you don't, it will be a massacre. Without the luxury of cutting, it was vital to storyboard and rehearse every camera movement to match the actor's blocking. I'm sorry about your friend. Deakins gives the audience a sense of physicality as we move alongside the characters. These calculated camera movements have a psychological effect on the audience. Just as the characters in the film cannot stop moving, neither can we. We need to keep moving! Come on! Another thing that separates Roger Deakins from many DPs is how he manipulates light to serve the story. Deakins knew he needed to shoot a full 360 degrees. And this meant that his light sources would be visible in frame. It's the biggest individual lighting unit I've kind of created. It was 50 foot high and it was like five tiers of lights. The first bunker is lit by these oil lamps. Well, the oil lamps are dummied with electric bulbs. While most filmmakers use practical lighting as ambient or fill light, Deakins does not shy away from using practicals as his primary source of light because Deakins isn't afraid of the dark. In fact, he embraces it. Look at this. When he combines darkness with practical lighting, Deakins is able to focus our attention on what is important in the shot. What's wrong? Tripwire. Where is it? It goes from here to the door. Oh, Jesus! Oh, no! It might be a character's fear, a threat, or simply a rat. By doing this, Deakins achieves not only a unique look of shadows and contrast, we have a 360 degree field of view and we are fully grounded in this world. With a mobile camera, practical lighting, single lens choice, and dynamic camera movement, 
Cinematography can create more than just a shot. It can create a world. The Studio Binder blog has multiple resources for cinematographers. Cameras, lenses, lighting kits, tutorials, and so much more. You'll find links in the description below. What other techniques does Roger Deakins use to immerse us in these worlds? Share your thoughts in the comments down below. It's difficult to pinpoint Roger Deakins' style, but one thing is for certain. We simply cannot look away. Subscribe, click the bell to stay in the loop for more filmmaking techniques videos like this.